Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and today we're going to be taking a look at the Knight of Ren Black, not Black Series, but Vintage Collection. Star Wars, the Vintage Collection, Rise of Skywalker action figures. This is going to be my first, second Rise of Skywalker action figure I've opened, depending on the release of the videos. I actually did open my Black Series, Rey. Uh, but Knight of Ren, we've been waiting years. Since 2015, we've been waiting four years to know more about these Knights of Ren. And finally, I have it in my, my hot little hand, the Knight of Ren. But first, before I mangled, yeah, I can never forget. I'm going to open the box, and I'm going to show you guys the outside of the box before we get it open. Okay, top left corner, we got 4 and up, E4063. There's a sticker saying, warning, choking hazard. Interesting, I didn't know they put stickers like that on top. Uh, the Rise of Skywalker, Star Wars, and there's the artwork. Look at that, he looks like a creepy skeleton man, kind of. I'm into it. I'm so into it. I like the brown they got towards the bottom. Like it's dirtier towards the bottom, just like it is in the photo. He's got a cool axe, like a vibro axe kind of deal. Yeah, that looks cool. That looks really cool, actually. Like, I'm, I'm already stoked on this figure. Uh, my bubble's a little bent, so it doesn't matter that I'm going to be opening it. Uh, it does have the old school Kenner. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm pretty stoked on this figure. Uh, Star Wars Vintage Collection VC-155, Knight of Ren, Zuri Bliss, Rey, Luke Skywalker, uh, Sith Jet Trooper, Poe Dameron, and then I did not pick up any of these four on the screen right now. I picked up everybody else, though. There's nothing good. There's no blurb on here. Uh, that is a sticker, though, the where it came from. Attention, danger, detouffement. Small parts warning. It's in every... Oh, and the Sad Babies. They're approved by Zero to Three, Sad Babies, and the Triangle Lion. What? Disney Hasbro, look at you. Cool, let's get this guy open. You ready? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Oh, it's going to feel so good. Yeah, rip it open. Oh, uh, there you go. It's a card. Goodbye. <laughs> and the Knight of Ren. Da, 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 da. There's a little piece of paper in there. That piece of paper is just another small parts warning. Um, oh, what's going on with this axe business? So the axe thing does move up and down. I think I need to assemble the axe. This is, this is the... <laughs> that did go flying. Oh my goodness, that went flying. Where is it? <gasps> okay, good news. I was able to find it. <sighs> Be careful opening this thing. That axe went flying. Now it is vintage collection, so he's like fully posable. Do we have double jointed knees or single jointed knees? Just one joint on the knee, but he does still, it revolves, right? It still rotates. And, oh yeah, no, it's, a, it's a good figure. Um, oh, I like these things on his arms. Does anything come off? Does his little do-rag come off? His head came off, oh no. Uh, that happens with these, that I'm not too worried about. His head pops right back on. Wow, that is a pretty cool looking Knight of Ren. I, this is just speculation, but I wonder, do all the Knights of Ren, because, I mean, this guy, like, reminds me of Darth Vader, like, in the mask a little bit. It's a very Vader-like mask. Again, there's just my, my quick view of my, like, the arm gauntlets he's got on. He's a cool-looking dude, but that mask reminds me very much of Darth Vader, and I wonder, because we know Kylo Ren kind of has a thing for Vader, right? I just wonder if... Is that a theme we're going to see with all the Knights of Ren? Are they all going to have, like, Vaderisms in their outfits? So the head is attached to that, uh, this, this outer cloak. There's, like, a layer of cloak out here and in the front, and that's one thing. And then there's another, like, cape that he's got on. It's, it gets very thick in some parts, which is really cool. And that's attached also. Oh, no, does that come off? That does come off. Right? Please tell me, is it, can I just... Oh, no, it's stuck into his back. You don't want to remove that. It is stuck into his back. But, wow, no, this is actually a great figure. He's got one of those kind of, like, stormtrooper-y things. Look at his, his midsection there. He's got these, like, uh... You can kind of see it. He's this, like, silver... Silver thing. It reminds me of what stormtroopers have on their backs. But, overall, this is a... That's a sweet-looking fig. Does he stand? Do you stay? Oh, maybe I put his his axe a little. Oh no! Is he is he gonna be one of these characters that's hard to stand? So in the ankles, he does have ankle like a bend, so I can lean him forward a smidge, and that should hopefully help with that. 
that back lean going on. Let's put his arm up here. There we go. We got him to stand. He looks good. Okay, and here's some other shots of him. You can see him kind of look a little bit better with that white background. He's a good looking fig. I like the brown. The dirt that they got on him there looks really good. Just kind of all over. Like, this is a pretty solid looking... <laughs> right now, it is a good looking fig. You're right. You're right. But look at that helmet. Look at that face. There we go. That's a better look at it. I really like that mask. Again, those gauntlets are really cool looking. You can see all the dirt applications. Look at his shins. Again, fully articulated. You can see all the lines of articulation. He does have those thighs that rotate right there. You can see it cut through on both of them. Uh, so it rotates at the kind of groin crotch area and then again at the thighs if you need it to, making him even more poseable. Arms do rotate and bend at the elbows. Uh, same thing at the armpits. You get full rotation and a bend in and out. Uh, wrists rotate as well. So it's very articulated. Really cool looking figure, and I even I really like this axe. They even like got a decent paint on that axe. Look, it's like slightly weathered. I am super pleased with this figure. Actually, this is a great figure. I actually picked up two of them because I just had a feeling that I would be really into it. And yeah, this is this is good stuff. All right, friends, what do you think of this guy? What do you think? Do you like him? You think he looks cool? I'm actually pretty stoked. This is a great first vintage collection for me to open from this wave i think he looks awesome i think his accessory is awesome the capes are good i like how well like they're so thick and clunky at some parts like i can't pinch anymore look at that gap in between my fingers that's a good chunk like of plastic in there um i'm not mad at this for 13 bucks i'm actually pretty pleased i like him a lot let me know your thoughts it is a thumbs up is it a thumbs down either way Leave it down below. I want to know your thoughts. Tell me what you want to see next as far as which video I'm going to put out. And I will try to get that edited and out for you next if it's not already done by the time you're watching this. So thank you guys so much for subscribing. Thank you guys so much for liking. Thank you guys so much for using the force on that notification bell. That way, exactly, so they get notified and they don't miss a vid. They're part of the Sad Baby Squad. That's how you got your name, S4DS. Sad Baby Squad. Zero three Sad Babies. That's it's a thing. Welcome back to Toy Reviews. All right, guys, I love you so much. Until next time, may the Force have with you, <laughs> goodbye forever. Hey you, while well, you're sitting there wondering what to watch next, ask yourself this, do you love Star Wars? Do you love being ridiculous? Well, you're gonna love being subscribed to the Dano channel and I would love to have you here. So make sure you subscribe before you go, but if not, click on one of those two boxes for a video that I suggest that you should watch. May the Force have with you. Have good. Bye. Forever.